Hi everybody, behind me I have a nice little setup here to show you how you can add multiple displays to either your Mac Mini or your desktop computer or laptop. It's really easy, very inexpensive and all is done through a USB port. Uh, this little box I'm going to show you is from EVGA and the box goes for about $45. It's really inexpensive to add a now another display to your computer really easily. In the next few minutes I'm going to show you how this works. Uh, the software that comes with the device is for Windows. You can download the Mac OS X software for it. Uh, you have to visit their website, but just visit aramistech.com. I will have all the links there for you for the complete information on this review and also the links to the download of the software. Uh, it's really easy to do. Like I said, this is really good. The, um, the one thing I was going to mention to you, I thought that this was going to be real slow through USB and it works flawlessly. It's, a, it's as if I had two uh, multiple um, uh, video cards on the computer itself. Now, what I want to also mention to you on the Mac side of it, if you're using uh, iMovie, you will get an error when you open. Uh, if you have the multiple displays, you will get an error when iMovie tries to open. So what you need to do is you actually to bypass that error, and that's something that has to do with the technology that the uh, uh, iMovie uses. So what you do is you unplug the second monitor, okay, unplug the little box from the USB, and then go ahead and uh, open iMovie, then plug the little box back in, your second monitor will come back on, and then you can use iMovie on the multiple displays and it works flawlessly. So that's a little uh, tip for you guys to use Mac. It will work definitely no problem. Uh, stay tuned in the next few minutes and I'll show you everything that has to do with adding these two monitors. Thank you and I appreciate you watching all of my videos. Alrighty, I'm going to start first with the Mac Mini. And I have the two displays here ready to go and all the adapter and everything that I'm going to need to connect uh, the Mac Mini. So, like I said before, I already installed the software on, on the Mac Mini, so it's ready to go. All I need to do is plug everything in. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the primary monitor to the Mac Mini. Alright. So we have that ready to go. And now you're going to go ahead and you're going to grab this USB cable that comes with it, the retractable one, and it has a mini USB on this side. So you're going to grab this box here and you're going to find on one side is the DVI for the monitor and the other side is right there the USB. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to plug the USB right in there. So you have that ready to go. And then grab the other end of it and plug it to an existing USB port or a free port that you have on the Mac Mini. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now it's plugged in and uh, go ahead and plug in the monitor on the other side remember that this thing has an adapter that comes with it which is a DVI adapter in this case I need that adapter so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plug in this uh, adapter to the, the actual box on the side so as you can see here so I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in alright so we go ahead and plug that box in there so now we have the, uh, the monitor, secondary monitor is right here connected to the box directly and you have your primary monitor connected to the Mac Mini so we're ready to go so I'm going to turn this on here I'll turn on the Mac Mini and we should have the first display come up alright we have uh, the Mac OS is coming up and uh, it should take about a second or so for it to um, get in there but once it comes on, you'll see the secondary monitor is coming on. This little box already lit up, so it's ready to go. And now when it finalizes the, uh, the boot up uh, function here, now I have multiple displays. Now what's neat about this, like I said, the box, you'll see that it lights up and has a little light on it and it'll flash as you go ahead and, and uh, move, or move from one screen to the next. But the, uh, on the screen itself, if you see the mouse here, let me see if I can grab the mouse here. See, it goes from one monitor to the next, no problem. It works flawlessly. This is great. You can put up to six monitors according to their specs. You can put up to six monitors on this. And it, it supports multiple resolutions on this particular box. Uh, this little particular one that costs $45 supports uh, resolutions from 800 by 600, 1024 by 768, uh, 1152 by 864, 1280 by 720, 1280 by 1024, 1400 by 1050 and 1440 by 900. I wanted to show you that when you open the iMovie program, it's going to give you an error. And the error that you're going to see, it says Quartz Extreme Required. And that's the error you get on the screen. Now to bypass this error and be able to use multiple displays and use iMovie, uh, like I mentioned before, all you need to do is first close iMovie because it's not going to work right there. So you close iMovie and you're going to go ahead and you're going to unplug the USB cable of the monitor and that's going to plug off the other monitor. The screen will come up. Go ahead and open iMovie. So we're going to go right here, open iMovie. 
and I move it will come back on. Now it will actually work with the multiple displays because once you, you turn it on and it, it, it works and the program comes up, now that the program is bootable, you go ahead and go ahead and grab that same USB, plug it back in, and you're gonna get again the multiple displays once the box comes up. It's gonna flash like that. Now you have multiple displays again and iMovie working on multiple uh, multiple screens. So this is definitely very, very well. So you can use all the, the actual multiple displays, iMovie and all the programs doing the same function. If all the programs fail, do the same thing. Unplug it and then plug it in once the program comes up and it's running. Alrighty, so I have here a Windows laptop and I'm gonna show you how to connect it also the same. Remember this works exactly the same for your desktop computer. So all you need is the USB port on your desktop computer and the instructions that, I have, that I'm gonna show you here and it'll work the same way. So again, we grab the same little box and it has the mini USB. Plug that into right here. Okay, and then find yourself a USB port. In this case, I have a USB port right here on the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the, uh, the DVI adapter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the DVI adapter here on the side. There we go. And the monitor that I'm gonna connect. Once you plug in the monitor, you're gonna have then the multiple displays. It's gonna ask you and it's gonna go ahead and, and configure itself to do that, to use multiple displays. In this case, you'll see in a second, it will come back up. Now, here we go. So now I have the multiple displays and you will get on the Windows uh, an actual, you know, if, it's, if there's an update for the software, you will get update information there. In this case, that pop-up you see here is for uh, updating the software because I found a new update for it. So that's pretty cool. It keeps you up to date on the program. Now, um, you see here, I have already then multiple displays all connected through a USB and the same function. I can use a mouse and move over to the other screen and let me move here real quick and show you in a second. See, if you see here, the mouse is on this side and I can actually move from one side to the next. So I can actually move this everywhere from here around this monitor and then to the next. You can change the resolutions to have uh, multiple resolutions for the monitors. You can clone the screen so you can have the same image on both. Uh, so it, it can have that, so that's really cool. In this case, what it does by default is that it extends the desktop. So now you have multiple displays and you can use more desktop space. So if you wanted to grab or use your laptop and use a, multi, a different monitor, an external monitor, through USB cable, this works perfectly well. This is an easy installation, very quickly. And like I said, when you are using the second screen, you will see the, the light starts flashing because it's actually working. So that's, just, that's normal that you see that. Um, when you're done, just unplug it and plug it back in. So hopefully you like this. This is really easy stuff and it, it's very easy to install. Like I said, you have to install the software first, reboot the machine, then you connect the stuff. Don't connect the stuff first because it's not gonna work very well. So first do that installation, reboot it on both, on the Mac and on the Windows computer. This is definitely really well and it's an inexpensive way to add multiple monitors to your Mac mini or your desktop or laptop. Well, there you have it. A simple, inexpensive way to add multiple displays to your computer or uh, your Mac mini and it's really easy to use. This little box, like I said, goes for about $45. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, send me an email. Like I said, it's really easy to use and I will put on the links at rmstech.com all the information you're gonna need, so where I purchased it and uh, all the links to download, for example, the software for the Mac OS. What I told you what's neat about it is that once you install the software and reboot the machine, it will automatically check for updates. So every time there's something new to be added, it will add it. Remember the tip I showed you for the Mac Mini for iMovie, which is really important because I see a lot of people on the internet that get stuck with that problem. And um, basically it's a workaround. It's not really a fix, it's a workaround to the issue that it has. Maybe in the future they will support the Quartz Stream uh, software and it'll actually work and interact. So uh, for now, just do what I told you. Unplug it and then plug it back in once you have iMovie up and running, okay? Thank you, I appreciate you watching all my videos and I hope you like this particular one.